the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire. fire. That you must become a passionate lover of God. Number one, I said to be grateful. Practice gratitude as a lifestyle. Gratitude must become a spiritual orientation that you burn on the tablets of your heart. That for all seasons, regardless how comfortable and favorable they are, remain grateful. Number two, that you must make up your mind to be a blessing by living for a cause that is beyond yourself. You must erode that lifestyle of self-centeredness and begin to think of others. How your life can count by being a blessing. And then number three, that you must be a passionate lover of God and men. God and men if you love God and you do not love men you are a hypocrite if you love men and you do not love God you are self-centered the truth is that if you truly love God in that order you will love men Matthew chapter 22 from verse 36 a passionate lover of God master he said which is the great commandment in the law reading to 40 Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Next verse. This is the first and great commandment. Verse 39. It says, The second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Do you know what this means? That all the law, the whole instructions that they got in the Old Testament was to achieve this purpose. To bring you to a point where you love the Lord sincerely and you love men. You must be a passionate lover of God. It's almost natural to love men when you love God. Look at me. To believe God does not necessarily mean to love him. You can believe him because you know he's mighty. That is not love. That is faith. Are we together now? The Bible says authentic faith works by love. Please listen. You must love God with all your heart. So tonight is an opportunity to rekindle your passion for Jesus. For many of you who, for whatever reason, your passion for him has gone down let me share with you very briefly i thought to add this there are a few benefits i need to tell you this we love god ultimately for who he is but i will tell you in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty there are untold benefits that follow any believer who loves god let me give you a few of them number one exodus chapter 20 from verse 5 to 6 we're discussing being a passionate lover of god Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Let's read verse 6 together. Ready? One to read. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Everybody say mercy. One more time, shout it, say mercy. mercy. So, you are entitled to experiencing the mercy and the kindness of God when you become a genuine lover of God. Most people think mercy is for sinners. No, the Bible says it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. If you keep favor and you keep mercy, I will pick mercy. Because until you are shown mercy, you cannot find favor. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. The mercy of God is powerful. Go online and listen to my teaching. I've done an extensive teaching on the mercy of God. Number two, what is the second benefit of being a passionate lover of God? Judges chapter 5 and verse 31. Judges 5.31, ever-increasing greatness. Ah, this is true. 
ever increasing greatness show me a passionate lover of God I show you a man whose greatness will never plateau it says so let all thine enemies perish O Lord but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might it says and the land had rest 40 years the B part is the verse of emphasis. But let them that love him be as the sun. Give us amplified. Let's see what amplified says. Let them, this same scripture, amplified. It says, but let those who love him be like the sun when it rises in its might. Does that look like the Bible, the scripture in Proverbs chapter 4? The path of the just. You want genuine greatness that does not go down? Be a lover of God passionately in love with Jesus and I'm telling you everything men see about you only becomes the foundation for the next level of greatness you believe that shout a loud amen. amen I remember in one of my birthdays I think three or four years ago if I'm not mistaken maybe three four the Lord spoke to me and the scripture he gave me was thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on outsides and I'm telling you from that season it was a new dimension of greatness for me. 71, 21, Psalm. Thou shall increase. You are already great, but he can increase your greatness. When the great call you great, your greatness is increased. May that be someone's testimony. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. Thou shall increase my greatness, he says, and comfort me on all sides. So this is the second benefit of becoming a genuine lover of God ever increasing greatness can i give you one more romans chapter 8 and verse 28 i like this we know he says that all things work together for good to them that love god is that in your bible all things work together for good that means for a genuine lover of jesus christ there are no disadvantages in his or her life. And believe me when I say this, that in the dealings of God with men who love him, he can route anything, no matter how it starts, it will always end up a testimony. This is why you see the lives of people. It doesn't matter whether it's a problem with their job, whether it's a problem with their health. When you see anything that looks like it is negative in their life, they don't even mind it because this scripture has given them confidence. All things work together for good. So you can lose your job and whilst people expect you to be mourning and saying how will my bills be paid supernaturally someone just comes and says I'm looking for a regional director here are you free and you say I just lost my job and the person says thank you Jesus because I've been looking for someone like you how do you explain that kind of thing is it a coincidence mm -mm. all things work together for the good of them that love God the good of them that love God the good of them that love God. Every time you love God, be rest assured that no matter what you see in your life at the moment, once it is uncomfortable, the love of God mandates and insists that he remains with you until it turns into praise. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. amen. Because Jesus was a lover of God, his father, even when he died, he died for only three days. After three days, he came back to life. And that death that was supposed to be a thing of shame and disgrace has now become the hallmark of the believer's faith. The scars in his hand that was once upon a time a symbol of pain, weakness, and defeat is today a testament of glory. I've told you that when you go to heaven, one of the ways you will know who Jesus is, is not by the light that emanates from him alone, not just by the crown upon his head, not just he that sits at the right hand of the Father, but the only one who carries this notable scar, the scar that purchased redemption. For someone, if the challenges did not happen around your life, you probably will not be here for this miracle service tonight. But thanks to whatever it is that has happened, now you are here. 
the love of Jesus brought you because he saw intrinsically within your heart that you were a sincere person loving the Lord. And he said, no, I will not let this woman, I will not let this man, I will not let this young lady, this gentleman, this preacher, I cannot leave you without help. I am still Ebenezer. I come through for those who love me. All things work together for the good. All things work together for the good. All things work together for the good. Provided you love him with all your heart. Provided you love him with all your heart. Not just serving him in hypocrisy so that you will receive things. Loving him for who he is. But that in loving him he has vowed that these among many benefits will come to you. Let me repeat them again. One, you become a candidate for his mercy and his kindness. To ever increasing greatness. Number three, that all things work together for you. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.